What's up everybody? Today we're talking about how to style a flannel, the ways I like to do it, the do's, the don'ts, a couple of rules that you should follow and never break or else you're going to look goofy in the streets. Let's get into the video. Let's roll. So before we get into the styling, a couple of quick rules. Write these down, burn it in your brain and do not break them because you cannot do this if you're wearing a flannel. Rule number one is keep the outfit simple. The flannel is the statement piece. It's usually colored, it's usually patterned. So the rest of your outfit needs to be simple and clean. Rule number two, do not wear patterns on top of patterns. Guys, if you're wearing a flannel, you need to have a basic tee underneath, something simple and clean, and then your flannel on top. You can't be wearing a striped shirt that's bright and then another plaid shirt on top. It does not look good. It does not work. Less is more here. Do not get too crazy with this. So how do you style this? The first way I like to do it is more of a dressy look. This is just buttoning it all the way up and having your sleeves flat all the way down. Now, what you want to keep in mind is the amount of buttons you have done up. If you're going out for a formal dinner, I would probably keep them all up. But if you're going out for drinks with a girl, you can undo a couple, show a little bit of skin. It's going to be a different message, but you're still going to look really put together and she's going to love it. The second way you can do it is unbuttoned. So obviously having a t-shirt underneath, whether it's white, black or gray, again, nothing textured, nothing pattern. This is a bit more casual. Again, still smart look, still looks really clean and good but a different look than when it's buttoned all the way up. Two different messages, two different scenarios, two different places. The next one is a variation of either or the first two, which is rolling up your sleeves. So if you have it unbuttoned and you're rolling up the sleeves, that's gonna be a more casual look than if it's buttoned up and you roll up the sleeves. Again, minor details I know, but it does make a difference, so do be aware. You know, if you're out at a formal dinner and you roll up your sleeves and you have an unbuttoned shirt and you're wearing bright colors, it's not gonna look as clean than if you had a black solid shirt or a dark blue and you had it all buttoned up. Perfect example is if you're going out on a patio, midday, you know, it's hot out, you're with your boys, you're having some beers and getting a little tipsy, you don't really want to be having this whole formal look. You want to be having fun. You want to roll your sleeves up, have it unbuttoned, nice and light if it's summer. So again, different looks, different scenarios. You know, where are you going? How do you want to look? What message do you want to send? Just keep that in mind when you're putting your outfits together. The fourth way is more tailored towards fall and winter. This is going to be layering a flannel on top of a hoodie or even underneath a vest. And this is why I love flannel so much because the same one you wore when you were drunk on a patio with the sleeves rolled up is the same one you can wear when you're bundling it up with a vest or a hoodie and staying warm in the fall winter season. Again, two different looks, completely different seasons, but if you get the right fit and the right colorways, a flannel can work all year round, which is awesome. The fifth and last way I would style a flannel, this one's definitely a little more unorthodox, a little more out of the box. A lot of people don't typically do this, but this is wearing it around your waist. Now, the only time I would really do this is if I was out wearing a flannel and it just got too hot, I would just take it and put it around my waist so that I'm not carrying it around or gonna forget it anywhere. It's still a piece of your outfit. It's still gonna add a pop of color and a dimension to your fit. You're gonna elevate your look and just not be as hot, which is awesome. So again, really important to keep the outfit simple and clean. If you're planning on taking the flannel off because you know it's gonna get hot, wear a nice fitted white tee or black tee, something simple that fits you really nice because now that t-shirt's gonna be the statement piece. And then the accent around your waist is gonna be a nice color or plaid of a flannel and then your shorts, your shoes, and whatever else. That's all I've got for you today. I really hope you learned something new and can take these tips and use them the next time that you're gonna style a flannel or a button down. As always, make sure to hit the subscribe and like button below if you haven't yet. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.